sunrise in southwestern Kenya. After their morning drive at Old Kenya Conservancy, Pauline and Noel Zinsley settled down for breakfast in the wild. This is the last day of safari for the couple from New Zealand. The highlight here with the camp is the food oh. and we're going camping so we're taking picnic um, oh, breakfast yeah, with yeah. us and so um, it's all packed ready for us. We go out, um, we, we find a lovely location, we sit there. On the other side of the camp, Simon Koiti and his team of rangers keep watch. Simon has worked as a senior warden for three and a half years now but still has to convince the locals that protecting the environment is important. When I talk about environmental security, so that people don't cut trees down, don't cause fires and wildlife, you know, um, so that they become the white dogs of, uh, on behalf of the community and on behalf of the government. Simon benefits from the partnership between locals and two safari companies. In this partnership, members of the neighboring Maasai community lease out more than 7,500 hectares of land to the safari companies. They receive a monthly payment depending on the number of acres they have leased. When land was subdivided into individual land ownership, then people together came and, and signed lease with, with the company, you know, to form a conservancy. People now are more settled and now they, they will not move mainly their livestock um, because, you know, they have, they have more other land outside the conservancy and they get money from the conservancy. So they guarantee income and they're happy. Today, there are almost 200 landowners leasing their land, which makes a big difference. The area now has over 20 lions, as well as cheetahs, leopards, a host of birds, gazelles, cape buffaloes and many others. In addition to the income from leasing their land, the community also offers activities for the tourists. <laughs> Local residents have also set up enclosures to protect their livestock from wild animals. They call them lion boma. Kantet Ole Paro and his son Kakue Paro have won. They have over 500 animals. In the past, we used to have a lot of problems with wild animals attacking our livestock. Lions would attack and kill our cows and goats. But since we got the boma, there are no lions or hyenas attacking our animals anymore. But not everything is rosy. Having fenced-in enclosures within the protected area poses a problem, as the senior warden explains. Several um, problems caused by the fences. One, it blocks the wildlife corridor, the normal migratory route. That is one of the challenges. Secondly, it traps wildlife. When they try to jump over, they are entangled inside the fences. And that causes conflict. The conservancy management argues that the government needs to engage more with locals by providing compensation for attacks on their livestock and more suitable protection measures. If the locals care for the wild animals, they will attract more tourists like the ones from New Zealand. And in the end, everyone will benefit, locals, the tourists, the wildlife and the environment.